How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And today, I want to do a quick follow-up for the Hockey Ultimate Team ratings video that I created a few days ago. You know, it seemed like a lot of people agreed with the experiments that I showed, but then we had a whole other crop of people that just did not want to believe it. I mean, I got accused of editing the rosters in my favor. It was also said that practice mode doesn't do the attributes justice in this game. And also, you know, people just taking what I said completely out of context. So I want to go through what I said yesterday very quickly and just clear up any confusing points that I may have made. The first thing I'd like to address are the people who took what I said completely out of context. Go back and reread the title of the video. It doesn't say Hockey Ultimate Team ratings are absolutely meaningless. It says Hockey Ultimate Team ratings are almost meaningless. I didn't say that all players play the same. Look at all the experiments between John Scott and Sidney Crosby. Crosby does win every single one of them. He does outperform John Scott. My point is that Crosby, being 96 overall, should destroy John Scott in these categories. Because he's 96 overall compared to a 72. If you use this same mentality and you compare an 87 overall player to an 84, is there really going to be a much difference? Read between the lines, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Now, I started the video showing how great players make simple mistakes in the video. Another example of how player ratings almost are meaningless. It doesn't matter if you have great players. When the computers are controlling these great players, they still make basic mistakes. The next test that I showed was stick handling, and I don't think anyone can disagree here. John Scott can stick handle the exact same speed as Sidney Crosby. You go back to old gen, Crosby really sets himself apart, being a superstar with great hands, okay? And for anyone saying that the Hockey Ultimate Team tuner settings are different than the practice mode, alright, fine. I did an experiment though. I put the settings on All-Star, which is the Hockey Ultimate Team difficulty, I put it on Hardcore, and then I went over to Gameplay Settings, I made sure that the attribute of effects was jacked up all the way, and also the gameplay version latest. I then went into a versus game and tried the stick handling experiment, and once again, at 250 beats per minute, John Scott deeks the exact same way as Sidney Crosby. Next up, I wanted to do another experiment with loose puck deeks, but utilizing the new gameplay tweaks that you guys suggested. And look, John Scott can execute the same deeks as Sidney Crosby. Now go back and listen to what I said in the last video. I will say this though, Crosby may seem to cover a little bit more ground while pulling off the deeks, but it doesn't really seem that much of a difference between someone who has a 67 in the hands category and someone who's got a 95. You hear that? I did suggest that Crosby does cover more ground with his deeks, but my overall point is that somebody with a 67 hands should not be able to even come close to somebody who's got a 95 for hands. Boys, that's my message. Read between the lines. The last test that we did in the video was a goal line to goal line in possession, and here's footage from it. You can see Crosby barely pulls away from John Scott, and this is where Crosby really should dominate, only 11 feet. So you guys said that practice mode doesn't do this justice, so I went back with the new gameplay tweaks in a versus game, once again, Crosby versus John Scott, and you guys can use this and just gauge it for yourself. I'm just presenting footage here, alright? It's not an opinion. It's an experiment. And once again, Crosby gets to the goal line. Now I want to show you guys. There's the image from the last test. We take the exact same 11 feet, put it to the goal line. Is it really that much farther away from the puck? By God. So there you go, boys. I hope this video cleared up any confusion that you may have had from the last one. And again, I'm not saying that Hockey Ultimate Team ratings are meaningless. I'm saying they're almost meaningless. John Scott should not be able to keep up with Crosby the way he does in the experiments that I showed you guys. And here's a question for all you Hockey Ultimate Team Division 1 players that will prove my point. If I forced you guys to play with 80 overall players from now to the end of NHL 15, would you guys remain in Division 1? The answer is absolutely yes. Why? Because it's not about player ratings in Hockey Ultimate Team. It's about high percentage plays while you're playing the game. And we're going to finish with this. Anyone who's saying that the experiments in this video were flawed because I wasn't in a Hockey Ultimate Team game, you realize the box that you're arguing in. You're suggesting that Hockey Ultimate Team, the tuners, and the gameplay has been perfected while they left practice mode. They left versus mode. They left playoff mode. They left season mode. They left OTP mode. The tuner settings in these game modes are flawed, but don't worry, they fixed Hockey Ultimate Team. Pfft, what a joke, guys. Come on. 